Hi everyone, it's Lori and welcome to my channel. I hope you're all doing well today. So we are going to work some more in this new journal. And I don't know what you call this, but anyway, it's the one with the um, little stretchy thingies. Uh, where you can actually remove um, the signatures or pages if you want to. So we got this far, and if you guys will remember in the last video, it was like bending inward. Um, excuse me. It was bending inward here uh, because of that tension on these. So I thought about taking the eyelets out and trying to figure out what to do. And I just decided on this because after I let this dry, because it's been, it's the same day I filmed the last video, but it's been a couple of hours um, or more than that actually. But anyway, um, I needed something. So I didn't really want to mess with having to pull the eyelets out and redo the holes and all of that stuff so I got this piece of cardboard thick cardboard here um, and I just used some Fabri-Tac and put that in there because after this dried and I came back to it it was actually bending in here about here and here on the top and the bottom um, so now since I've put this in it is not bending in those spots so I think we're gonna be okay and of course we're I'm planning on covering this up anyway uh, and I wanted to cover these up because I did not want them to show um, so I guess right now we are just to the point where we can actually sit this aside somewhere where we're we gonna sit it Let's find somewhere. Right there is good. and we want to start picking out our pages um, so I did measure the width and all that I needed. So I guess I need to pull. Where's the? Nope, there it is. Okay. So I used my Timmy roller. So we're gonna keep it out. Oh gosh, guys, let me show you this because I hadn't showed this and I did not do an Etsy shop share on this. But um, so with this journal, I'm also gonna be using um, papers from Nazi over at Am Amnity Bloom. Um, she had put some fabric pack, fabric fabric lace packs uh, in her shop and I was actually lucky enough to snag three um, and these kits coordinated with her coordinates with her uh, Rosabella um, haberdashery uh, collection and um, I think Mariella is the other one it's like the story of two sisters um, so yeah I went over there I didn't get all that I want there was two I wasn't able to get but anyway these will do um, hopefully she'll end up putting some more in her shop but look at how pretty these are and I'm not going to take them out guys I'm just going to let you see it through and look at this that she put in there that paper and it has her name at the top here I really like that um, but yeah so these are some laces and trims and fabric that actually coordinate with um, yeah those two kits absolutely gorgeous um, so I'm sure we're going to be using some of this on this journal. And then this was another one. I think it was like summertime something maybe. Um, so it's lots of reds and all in there too. It's a little bit smaller pack. But yeah, I absolutely love these. Um, I did not use them in that other journal. But I think, I think now I'm not sure. But I think we may be using this in this journal. We will see how it goes. And I'll just totally put that on there upside down. But you know that's me that's how it goes okay so there's that just wanted to give you guys a quick peek see at that so let's go ahead and see what is what guys because I have like three of these full um, of her papers um, and I'm thinking on the front cover I want to do cardstock so I'm just going oh that would be pretty oh so with that I really love that isn't that so pretty okay so that's something else so let's pull out the ones that's pretty much all of them printed on cardstock but okay those are anyway all right so these are on just regular copy paper that's actually part of the ephemera this is all cardstock 
See, I think that summertime one may have been this one. I'm not 100% positive. I kind of got a bit confused on what was what. Okay, so this is ephemera. So that'll be on this kit. Um, yeah, I think these go with that. Okay, so this is just um, ephemera. I guess I need to get cut out. Alright, so that's what we have in there. That's all cardstock, too. Okay. Alright, so let's look at the next one. See what we have in here. So these are just some. Well, okay, so this is regular paper. Regular paper. That is a FINRA. Something in there feels like cardstock. No. Nope. I guess not. I used my good paper on this, so maybe that's what I'm feeling. Okay, so this is card stock, but that, I think, goes with that other kit. Yep, so I'm going to put it over here. And this is just, um, that's just some of my regular paper, dyed paper I had gotten out this. Okay, so that's regular paper. And then this is all ephemera, I believe. I was in the middle of printing some more of this out, guys, when my printer died. It said it... Oh, what was that piece? Um, the overflow ink tank or something in it has reached the end of its life. So there's some kind of key I have to go buy. Yay. Um, in order to fix that, and I hadn't did it yet, so I need to get that done. So this can go in there. Let's put all the ephemera in here, I guess. That would be a good place to start there. Oh, what did we do with that other... Yep, these two... I believe goes with that kit. I should have paid more attention and kept them together, but I did not because, you know, that's how it worked. Okay, so what is in this one? Alright, so this is all cardstock. And, okay, so this is, this one here is um, Vintage Studio 717. Um, that would probably be pretty. And some of these are repeats because I didn't realize I had them printed. Probably had these printed for like over a year, I believe. I think these are vintage 717. So I don't really think those are going to go. And I apologize if you hear my husband in there sneezing. Okay, these two go. God bless him. These two go with those. Okay, so I know these are, I believe, vintage studio 717. So let me grab. I know what. We'll just use this one. So we will put those in there and toss them over here. Alright, so these are, those are scraps. Alright, so this is our ephemera. Got it. And this can be our pages. Even though all of them is not printed on the back, but this is regular copy paper, right? 
yeah, all this is regular copy paper. So, let's put the regular copy paper in here. So we have that organized. So this may end up being an organizing video, guys, and we don't actually get anything accomplished. I'm going to grab a couple more because I have them just right here. So let's grab a couple more of these. And I got these off of Amazon that have these on there where you can actually put what they are. Then, of course, you know you can change it out because it just pulls out. Um, so I do like that, even though I haven't really, you know labeled anything so these are just scraps so we're going to do our scraps in here and one so when we need to go to our scraps we can do that you see that's a sentiment so that's more of a yeah okay so there's scraps there's scraps. Alright, so we have one for scraps. And then this is going to go with our ephemera. I'm looking over here because I see more scraps after it over here, but I think they're little bitty scraps. Yeah, they are, so we're going to leave them be. Okay, so we have cardstock. And we have regular what that is regular copy paper so that'll be for our journal pages here's our scraps and so these are our card stock so we need to think about um, picking through these bending the pages all up and see what we want for our cover and I really like that though I'm not sure okay, let's see let's see what jumps out at us guys okay that was uh, vintage 717 let's lay it on top of the ear I had that first page of the other one Way. Be a flipperoo. Flipperoo. -roo. Okay. Maybe we could do something similar to this on the back. Oh, that's pretty. Um, let's see. Eight. Oh, no, it's nine tall. So we're going to have to have more than one page. Um, because it is non-tall. You see I have doubles in here. I think this one went with that other kit. Let's see. It's pretty. Mm. This right here, guys, looks and feels textured. This was actually, you see a, a line down through there? This is actually like for cards, some kind of bro brochures. I had gotten a pack of this at an estate sale or somewhere. That's really pretty. Okay, let's see. gonna have to be staggered so why don't we do these two this can be kind of like it's not gonna take a whole lot okay so let's see that would be pretty on the back okay so maybe these two are our fronts and if we have that on the back, we need something that we want 
to go with that. Something that kind of coordinates. That got stuck in my printer, so I cut that off. See, I really don't want anything with writing on it because there's so much writing on that. Those colors may go good. Because I want them to contrast, but not, you know, look horrible. No writing. I could do that one. Okay, I think it's going to be out of those two. Oh, we got to think about the inside too. Okay. So that's our front. Now let's pick our back. Yeah, that's the bag. Take this one. All right. So we got our front and our back. So now we're going to need our inside. And I really do like that one. So now maybe we can do something with some words to go with that one. We like here. Excuse me. Nope, wrong color. Wrong color is too matchy matchy. Okay. Okay, let's do this one then on the inside. Why do I have out too many sheets? That's the front, that's the back. This could be the inside front cover. And then maybe, um, that cover. Let's go with these two in the back cover. Okay, we got it. That's where it's going to be. And some of these we will pick out because I will have some of this, um, cardstock actually in the signatures probably um, one at the beginning of the signature so that'll be three one for the middle of the signature so that'll be six we'll need nine because I want one somewhere else throughout it so we'll pick out nine of these to go actually in the signature let me go ahead and put um where did we put these? I'm getting so confused. Okay, we'll worry about that later. We'll worry about that when we get off the camera. Where did I put those? Okay. So, the front cover. We have... Yep, see how it's short. So what we need to decide is do I want this I think I want to find the halfway point and then we could put some of this at the top and then some at the bottom or do we want this all the way to the top 
and I'm gonna put book corners on this as well take this all the way to the top and just have a piece of this at the bottom I think we'll do that so I just need to bring this as close to the edge as we can get it and then mark and you want to cut it in that fold there yeah I think that'll be good so we will need to cut this one the same so that's where we'll cut those out So should have turned over and did that mark on the um, inside. I've got to erase that now. And here. Yep. Okay. Lay those over there. So that is the front. Do one thing at a time or I'm going to get us all messed up. You see that little mark there. Alright. So this. going to go here and I'm not worried if a little bit shows because we are going to deck her out um what do I need I need my little trimmer I have no idea where it is yeah kind of lost today guys okay so, oh there it is spotted it I'm telling you I turned everything around and now I like stay really confused now how high up do we want this let's go about three in case we decide to make it a pocket and that should work hopefully okay So that'll go there, and then that'll go there. I think that'll look good, because we're going to dress this up with lots of pretties, fabrics, and laces instead. I'm going to take a drink of coffee, guys. It's that time of evening. It's 6.06, .06 and I'm drinking coffee, so... All right. So, fabric tack. I'm going to go ahead and get a dry one out just in case I end up making a hot mess out of this. Okay. Let's breathe. We will get this down and probably only going to get the Oh, nope, I need that, you silly goose. Get the front done in this video. Because I spent so much time messing with the um, papers. Oh, shucks. I just put that all over my finger. I mean, my hand.
Alright guys, here goes nothing. But at least with Fabri-Tac you have some wiggle room here to try to get things straight-ish. Y'all will have to forgive me if I get my fat head in the camera. And again, we're going to put book corners on that as well, so... Okay, let me move that out of the way. I'm going to get a spreader out here. Let's try to make sure we got that pressed down good. And all of this we're covering up with fabric and laces, guys, so no worries on that. Okay. Let me get my other sheet because I threw it in the floor. And I'm thinking that I probably want a um, lacy pocket on the front. So I'm going to take this and just glue it all the way down. Instead of making a pocket... Or anything out of it and I'm thinking though looking at it wondering no it will be good if I get it all the way over where it's supposed to be I was wondering if maybe we needed to cut a hair off but I think we're good okay all right guys here goes nothing. I'm going to get the Fabri-Tac all over this. Right. It's this way. Good. All right, guys. Oh, wow, look. Oh, my gosh. It's going to be so pretty. Just imagine the book corners on there. You can't see the blue edges here, but, you know, I'm good with that. Blue edge. Because there's blue in the journal. Oh, my gosh. Look, guys. That is going to be so pretty. All right, guys. All right, so it is about 30 minutes, so we're going to go ahead and call this a video. So in the next video, we will uh, not be fumbling with papers, so hopefully we will have more time. And we will get the back put together. So let's see, we want the majority of it. 
this here. I think I want this at the top. And that's going to be the perfect spot to cut that at. So that's going to be there. So it shouldn't get any of the pink on this. And then maybe we will just come up with... Oh, it's going to cover all this up, but I'm thinking we'll do the same size as the front. What do you guys think? I mean, I know they're not going to be together. Maybe we should do bloom. I think we should do this part. So we'll be cutting this one about here. As far as that goes. So, you know, I said we were going to go. And then I mark and cut. Yeah. Alright, so maybe a minute longer, guys. I'm really excited about this. Again, I think I want bloom. We'll go about right there and we could cut off a little bit if we need to. Yeah, we're gonna have to cut off some, I do believe. Okay. So now this needs to go to about right there. So get to the end, probably need to go there. Got it. Where's the other piece? There it is. Alright, so this is going to go here. I'm wondering though if we need to and then this will go here. Cut that off just a tad. Okay, so this one definitely needs to be cut off a tad. A teeny tad. Let's try that. Hopefully it wasn't too much. Perfect. So this will go here. And then this will go here. Yeah, I think we're good, guys. Yep, that'll be really pretty. I see you guys can't see that. So that's what that's going to be. All right, guys. 35 minutes. We're going to go ahead and call it quits. Thank you all so much for joining me today. I really do appreciate it. We will pick back up on this. I'm going to go rest a minute and probably go ahead and do another video today because I'm really, really excited about this. Thank you all so much for your support. I really do appreciate it. Oh, shucks. 
If you don't mind, please do me a favor and hit that like button. Um, it really does help my channel, and I'd really appreciate it if you'd do that. And if you wouldn't mind, also leave me a comment, even if it's just saying hi. It's a great way for you guys to support me and my channel and what I do. Um, it doesn't cost you anything. So, of course, I really do appreciate that. Thank you all so much for joining me today. I love you guys, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.